Hey everybody, I'm Joel Kennedy with Kennedy Violins, and today I wanted to do a video on slipping pegs. Uh, now, slipping pegs has been a problem that has uh, challenged violinists for hundreds of years, literally. Uh, it's just, it's been a real plague, and we get calls from customers all the time, what's wrong with my violin, my pegs are slipping, I don't know what to do. Well, actually the fix is very, very simple. And uh, it's actually kind of surprising that in the violin world, a lot of people don't know how to deal with slipping pegs. Even very accomplished teachers and professional players are not aware of how to properly uh, string the string on their peg so the peg doesn't slip. Um, so why does it happen? Well, first of all, I'll just show you what it is, right? So um, you have a string and you want to tune it. So you, you turn the peg up, but then what happens when you let go of the peg? The peg goes back. So you do it again. So what do you do? Well, a lot of people will push that peg in. They'll push that peg in, and then they'll tune the, tune the string up, and then, oh hey, problem fixed. Look, the, the string, it maintains its pitch. But the next time you have to tune your violin, which is probably the very next day, you have to turn it just a little bit, and you turn that peg, and what does your peg do? It slips again. It slips again. So um, there, now, besides that being a very temporary fix, there's another issue. When you repeatedly push that peg into that hole, what you're doing is you're enlarging the hole in the scroll box, which long term is going to damage your violin and make the problem even worse. So why does the problem even happen? Well, a peg, a uh, violin's been made the same for hundreds of years, and what you have simply is just you have a peg, a tapered peg, and it goes into a hole. And what happens is with a, a, a climate changes, so you have temperature changes, humidity changes, and that hole expands and contracts. Well, what happens is, is that peg starts actually kind of moving out and then it slips because it doesn't have a, that wedge effect with the, uh, the, the hole in the scroll box. So how do we remedy it? Well, it's very simple actually. What you want to do is you actually just want to, it takes a little bit of practice, but after you get good at it, it literally takes about 10, 15 seconds, is you want to put a finger underneath the string and keep the tension on the string and unwind that peg a little bit. So it's wound around the peg maybe once or twice, right? And then what you want to do is push that string towards the peg that you're, that you're turning. And then you want to turn that peg slowly with the string towards the peg. Now what does that do? Well, it actually puts that string, it forces that string to wind against the side of the scroll box. What that does is it creates a wedge effect. So it, it makes it so that that peg can't move out. It can't go this way because it's being squeezed by the string. And the more you wind the, the peg, the more of a wedge effect that you get. So what you want to do is you slowly turn this peg and push it in while you're turning it. Now the harder you push that peg in, the tighter that peg is going to be when you're finally done. So you go all the way, making sure that your string is in the uh, notch of the nut in your bridge, make sure it doesn't fall out, and you turn that pick. So, we get the string up to pitch. So now, let's say we loosen the peg, tighten it, we loosen it, tighten it, but you see the peg doesn't slip. Now, if this is done properly, and if the, if the instrument um, doesn't go through a lot of, you know, extreme temperature changes and whatnot through the, the life of the violin. I've actually seen instruments go, you know, eight, ten months, even a year sometimes without the peg slipping. It's pretty amazing. Um, so it takes a little bit of practice. Um, but let me just show you one more time. Okay, so you want to put a finger underneath the string and then you slowly loosen the string. Of course, this will all be in reverse, probably, when you're holding the violin up. Most people do, uh, do this with the violin when they're holding it up, but either way. Um, so you Make sure you hold the string so it doesn't fall out somewhere. And now you're going to rewind that string and make sure you that the direction of the string is going against the side of the scroll box. So then I'm going to slowly, slowly wind the, the peg as I push the peg in gently. You don't have to, it doesn't take very much pressure. And then get the, the, the string to pitch. And it's probably going to stay like that for a long time. So I really hope this video helped out. But, you know, here at Kennedy Violins, you know, we're all players and teachers. If you have any kind of questions uh, with your violin, even if you didn't buy it from us, just give us a call. Uh, send us an email. We're always happy to help out our fellow musicians. Thanks, and have a nice day.